Welcome back. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ragtime, the musical, is coming to Center Point Theatre. It kicks off on Friday. That's going to be a good time. It's brought to you by the Orpheus Musical Theatre which is great, great society that's been around for quite some time. Right now, we'll start way at the end. We have the amazing uh, Saito Labrego with us, and you're hello, playing hello. Sarah in I Ragtime. Am. How yes. you doing? I'm doing very well. We've had you on the show a couple of times, and you always once. blow us away. Just Okay, so <laughs> once. <laughs> but once. Uh, I'm glad it seemed like more. <laughs> I just keep reliving it in my mind. That's I, what it is. I okay? love it. I love it. <laughs> but you're actually going to blow us away with a piece, a short piece from uh, Ragtime coming up. That is indeed up the plan, yes. Moments. We also have a Vivian uh, Melsness with uh, us as well. And how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm super. You are playing the mother in Ragtime, the yes, musical. And you hardly look old enough to be a mother. Oh. Okay. You should not be playing the mother. You should be playing the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> someone silly but You're we all <laughs> and Bob Lackey as well is the artistic director for Ragtime the musical looking like a grandfather yes. no no not at all looking <laughs> like a very young dad, very young dad. Uh, so as the artistic director uh, what exactly would your role be uh, well it starts with the audition like an hour a year and a half ago we I was chosen as artistic director so I kind of have an idea of what it is I want in terms of uh, the the vision of the show and then they choose musical director and choreographer and other production people and then we go through an audition process for a week and uh, then it's just rehearsal process so wow. organizing schedules and making sure that people are available when they you know life sometimes intervenes so, yeah. it's, so that's we're a really going process. back about a year and a half at this point for me this yeah. production together yeah Wow, yeah, it seems like a lot. Me. Because how many showings do we have in total? Uh, nine, nine officially. Yeah. So much work for nine showings. Well, it is, but could be less. Yeah. And it's you know it's in a, a fantastic facility and with a, a terrific orchestra that we heard uh, yesterday under the direction of our musical director mm -hmm. uh, Terry Duncan. So it blew me away. Some of the songs. I mean, that was part of the reason for my attraction to it. Is the yeah. music is transformational to me so and ragtime has been around for quite some time I mean Seidel what's it like to to be uh, playing um, a role Sarah uh, who a lot of musical theater fans already know yeah <laughs> it's pretty great I gotta say it's one of my dream roles is um, it really yeah well it was originated uh, on Broadway and actually the song I will be singing was written for Audrey McDonald who is Broadway legend <laughs> so yeah and it's a really powerful role and she's a supporting character right so it's it's a treat to be able to have such an impact on the overall message of the story when in a supporting role mm -hmm. so a supporting great. role that has a couple of fantastic with some great musical stuff numbers, yeah. <laughs> with some really yeah. good stuff yeah. yeah and once again we're going to get a piece of that coming up as well so right. we're looking forward yeah. to that as the mom vivian i mean i mean that role uh, to be part of this uh, this great production i mean it's it's got to be pretty cool because you i heard that there's what 35 people in the cast yeah like in a crazy a crazy amount yeah so to have one of those the main roles that's got to be kind of cool it's a dream come true for me it really is it's um it's a very special role for me as well um because she represents mother represents sort of the upper class white community during this time there's three sort of groups of people in the cast um, and so she's coming from a very privileged background very wealthy background and um, her husband uh, leaves for a year to go on an expedition and leaves her at home to manage the household and the family business which is a little bit um, not heard of for a woman back then mm -hmm. and um, through a series of events she uh, meets Sarah who is a very troubled young woman when she comes to mother with her newborn baby and in a life-changing moment mother decides to take them into her home and help them mm -hmm. and when her husband comes home and finds this uh, he's quite distraught and uh, really wants to just preserve the status quo mm -hmm. so mother sort of represents um, you know someone who's embracing the change that's coming into America at this time mm -hmm. and just goes undergoes such a huge transformation and she just shows so much strength at a time when women didn't really have the freedom to do that. Okay. So it's a really compelling role. That's good. Yeah. And so Bob, I mean, where where is this set? Right well, time? it's it's interesting that that was brought up because it's uh, it's set in New York City, basically, or in the United States, but specifically New York City, at a time early 1900s. So when Vivian's character actually represents kind of the emerging woman, it was before they even had the vote. So her decisions are kind of, uh, all the decisions she's making are kind of countercultural, really, at that point mm -hmm. uh, in time. So uh, there's a lot of history involved, and in, in fact, that's kind of part of the challenge uh, as, a mu as a director is that, you know, normally when you're doing a production, you, you look through the libretto and the music and find the truth in that. Well, now it's, we're dealing with 
the truth in history mm -hmm. and the truth because it's based on a novel so you kind of want to be truthful to the novel as well mm -hmm. um, so historically there are there are characters that you know there's uh, Harry Houdini there's Evelyn Nesbitt there are actual characters yeah. that were real in in uh, in the United States mm -hmm. and so you're you're trying to be, uh, you know, have some historical truth that you're connecting to, but you're also being truthful to the novel. Which can be ch challenging, obviously, because you want to relay this truth. For sure. Some, and people, that's might, some people might, might call you out on it, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> and, and the way that we do it. But, yeah. uh, but it's important for performers to know about that as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's important for props people. For example, uh, Mike Thompson's doing the props. He's created a stereoscope, which is important for the little boy character. Yeah. He's created a, what's called kind of a, a primitive uh, movie camera that's important at the end. Mm -hmm. So he's created that stuff, and it's it's adding to the historical uh, element okay. in, in the show. Seidel, I mean, you, you have plenty of experience when it comes to, to being in productions. I mean, with this production here in Ottawa and 35 plus people in the cast and so many behind the scenes. Is it a challenge for you with all these people to work with, or do you just, you just sort of... I would say it is a pleasure. It's a pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is really great. Uh, you know, I grew up in Ottawa, so it's really nice to be working on this amazing project. And yeah. I was just talking to Bob about it, that this is a production that means something. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a very uh, deep meaning that, that moves people mm -hmm. and has, it's applicable to our lives today, right? right? So I'm very proud that we're doing this and that it's in Ottawa. Perfect. And Vivian, t uh, opening night's coming on Friday. Are you, are you excited? Oh, so excited. <laughs> Great. Well, we wish you all the best, of course. Uh, uh, opening night, like I mentioned, Friday night, tickets through uh, Center Point Theatre Box Office. And it's going until the 11th. So mm -hmm. a nice run, nine shows in total. <laughs> and Seidel, you are going to perform a song for us now. Which one uh, is it again? It's called Your Daddy's Son. All right, amazing. Uh, right time, the musical. We're looking forward to that. Seidel, take it away. Bright and early in the morning. Like a spell, he could make you. Laugh. 